Hey everybody, Jason Huggins here, The Real Cool Guy, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to use Studio One Free, Studio One Free, to do punch and roll recording for audiobooks and long-form narration. Now, you're going to open up Studio One Free, obviously, and then you're going to start by going to Setup, make sure that your audio device is configured correctly, and hit OK. Then you're going to create a new song. In that song, you're going to title it. We'll go test just for fun. This needs to be in seconds, not bars. Song length doesn't matter. It will actually extend it if you go beyond that. And you just hit OK. Now, we don't have a track here, so we're going to start by creating a new track. This is going to be an audio track. Color, I like to give it a brighter color so that the audio has a darker contrast. Make sure it's a mono audio file, and for me, the input is L, so that's correct. And then I'm going to extend this so it's nice and long. I like a nice, like to, I like to be able to see the audio track personally. So we're going to arm it, and you'll notice that as soon as I do that, you've got playback on. Monitor playback is on, but we don't want monitor playback because the way I like to do it is I actually have my speakers playing back. So I don't have to have headphones on when I listen to playback, playback because it will stop the audio that's playing out of the speakers before it starts recording after the pre-roll. So here we go. I'm going to take off snap because I don't like it to snap. Now to set up the pre-roll, you're going to come down here to this metronome area. And then right there is um, this guy right here is the pre-roll setting. And if you mouse over, there you go, pre-roll. You can hit O to turn it on and off, or you can just click it and it'll turn red. Then if you go to the metronome setup, you can see right here in options, pre-count bars. It only gives you the option of using bars. Now, if you've done music, you know what a bar is. Um, great. I'm not going to get into music theory, um, but it's set for one bar. If you want that one bar to be longer or shorter, you can change the tempo. Now, if you increase the tempo, that, may, that means that the, that the, the song is going faster. And so a faster tempo means that a bar is shorter. So if you want a smaller amount of time pre-rolling, use a shorter or a higher tempo. If you want a longer pre-roll, like if you want five seconds or something, then decrease the tempo. It will increase the size of the, of the bar. Or you can make it two bars if you really want to have, you know, a, a, you know, seven, eight seconds or something like that. So we're going to start off recording some audio and then I'm going to mess up and then we're going to do some pre-rolling. To install a new capsule into your air purifier, switch the unit off. Then remove the new capsule from its protective wrapping. Open the capsule cap by turning it. Okay, so I screwed up there. <clears throat> it doesn't say turning it. It says, open the capsule cap by turning in the direction opposite that is indicated. So, I'm going to click right there. You can hear. Open the capsule cap by turning it, by turning it. I didn't like turning it, so I'm going to put it right there. Now, you got to be careful not to cut off. This is a breath, and it extends a little bit. So, you want to get close to the audio that you finished. And on the last, on the actual last, last sentence here. And then it will start recording here. You can take a breath if you want to make it sound as if there was no break, or you can just start recording. It just depends on what you're doing. So we'll start recording right here. I'm just going to hit record. When I hit record, it's going to do a little bit of a pre-roll. I'm going to listen to it. It'll stop the pre-roll and start recording. As soon as it starts recording, that's when I start talking. <clears throat> Move the new capsule from its protective wrapping. Open the capsule cap by turning in the direction opposite to that indicated by the arrow on the cap. Insert the capsule Okay, so capsule. We can do the same thing. We'll go right there. Bring it kind of close. That indicated by the arrow on the cap. Insert the complete cap into the air purifier. Oh, oops. So now at this point, I messed up, but it's still rolling. But I want to go back to the exact same spot. So if I hit undo with Studio One, oops, it will stop it. It'll delete the audio I just recorded, and it'll bring me all the way right back to this exact same place. See, look. Oh, my head undo. And <laughs> All right. Too many buttons. That indicated by the <clears throat> arrow on the cap. 
So you can see it's recording right now. Now if I hit undo, it brings me right back to where I was. That indicated by the arrow on the cap. Oops, I hit a little flub there. Hit undo again, right back to where I was. So I don't have to mess with the playhead when I'm, when I'm trying to bring the audio back to where it needs to be. So let's keep going a little bit. That indicated by the arrow on the cap. Insert the capsule in the cap until the tabs catch the cap. Insert the complete cap into the air purifier. Turn the cap in the direction of the arrow. And then switch the unit back on. So I would have liked there to be a little bit of a, a little connection right there when it said and. Turn the cap in the direction of the arrow. And then, and then, so complete cap into the air purifier. Turn the cap in the direction of the arrow and then switch the unit back on. Your air purifier, so I messed that up, and then switch the unit back on. Your air purifier will now release a pleasant fragrance during operation. Either choose repeat to watch this demonstration again, or it will automatically close. Now we're gonna hit stop. Now, if you remember from the, the tutorial that I, that I wrote, when you want to export, you need to add a marker at the very end. So we're going to add the marker right there. That's going to be the end of the audio we want to export. And it's going to give me a 2. So if you go back here, um, we'll zoom like this. you got the start. There's always Start is always right there at the start. And then 2 is right there. So when we export, it's going to export everything between start and 2. Because that's how we're going to set it. Now, let's take a listen um, to what this actually sounds like now that we've done the composite track just without without exporting it without editing it at all to install a new capsule into your air purifier switch the unit off then remove the new capsule from its protective wrapping open the capsule cap by turning in the direction opposite to that indicated by the arrow on the cap insert the capsule in the cap until the tabs catch the cap insert the complete cap into the air purifier turn the cap in the direction of the arrow and then switch the unit back on. Your air purifier will now release a pleasant fragrance during operation. Either choose repeat to watch this demonstration again, or it will automatically close. All right, so we've got that. Now it's gonna have that little thing at the end there just because that's on there, but whatever. So now we're gonna go song, export stems, and then we're, it's gonna automatically be named mixdown. We're gonna name it test audio. Uh, DIO, if I could spell, and then we're going to put it on my desktop. Okay, now it's going to export as a WAV file, 24 bit, 44.1K, which is what we recorded. Here you have between selected markers. This is the option that you need right here between selected markers. So you're going to click that, make sure it's from start to two. You got two at the end right here, two at the end right here, start to two. That's how much we're going to do. 36 seconds, you can see that's just a little bit longer than 36 seconds. Now we're gonna make sure that this one here is clicked, preserve mono tracks, because we don't want it to end up in a uh, stereo track. So then we'll hit okay, it'll export it, it'll pop it up like that. Now the easy way to do it, I'll just go open with Adobe Audition CS6. There you go. Now we've got this opened up and here, to install a new capsule into your air purifier, switch. Now we can do all of the editing that we did before, like remove pops and clicks, you know, like that kind of stuff um, that we talked about in my last session. So there you go. That's all you need to do to record audio in Studio One. Um, that's it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call.